What are you doing? Okay. Good morning. <laughs> She's smelling rich for coffee. We're going to get coffee. Yay. At like 7.30 in the morning. I feel so put it on it. As soon as you get into this corner, it gets so cold. Because of all the buildings and the shades. Oh, one man. And it gets so windy. Wind city. My face is also puffy because of dinner last night. It's like sodium plus this, spice plus. Yeah, there's a lot of things in combined. I just said bye to Chemin, which is kind of sad because it was our first time seeing each other in like. Five months. Oh my gosh, five months. That's a long time. Um, five months and we only had like half a day to spend together. And then half of that was like just not sleeping. But we just got a good morning coffee before she left. Went to Pete's. I got a oat milk latte and... Mm. I definitely thought about going back to sleep where I initially was going to but then i got my coffee and like i already had my little morning walk to the coffee shop that i think i'm gonna just stay awake and have a good long day so i'm just gonna plan out my day and also i think i'm gonna make myself an avocado toast with the truff hot sauce on top that sounds really good with egg Cause like so many people like make content. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so this is an avocado toast with av avocado, fried egg, and then pickled onion, which is homemade and apparently really good according to my sister. And then I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of the truff hot sauce. Cause I wanted to see how this hot sauce would taste with avocado toast. I haven't worked out in a while, so I'm gonna utilize a gym here. And I'm gonna try to show you guys what I do at the gym. Right now, I am stretched and I'm warming up my limbs. I had to do a voiceover because I couldn't talk in the gym while I do this, but right here, I am activating the glutes as they call it um, it's basically warming up your muscles so you know exactly which muscles to use for your bigger weight workouts you can definitely look up glute activation videos on youtube and really learn how to use these muscles so that you can have an effective workout after that i do some dumbbell workouts to again isolate my glute muscles and then warm them up so i know exactly how to use them and then here i just use some weight and not happy about the form but yeah okay i'm back in the gym and i just did a mild workout i sweat a little bit but not like dripping sweat as long as i'm not like dripping in sweat i used to be able to kind of just refresh myself like freshen myself up and then go on with my day right but now that we wear masks when we work out like the sweat gets trapped under the mask and i just feel the need to wash my face and shower as soon as I get back from the gym so that is what I'm trying to do and also I feel like a lot of people come to me for like skincare recommendations or skincare videos um, but I haven't been on my best skincare game myself like being so busy and I've slacked off so I'm really trying to get back onto that routine um, for the new year and I love goal setting for the new year so we can do that more later in the video but yeah skincare is something that I really am trying to get back into and I'll show you more of that after I get back from taking a shower yeah I'm gonna use Foreo's UFO 2 today I mentioned how I really wanted to perfect my skincare routine and this is something that I really want to start incorporating more regularly into my skincare routine this is perfect for like an at-home treatment and it's a perfect device to make your skin look more alive especially when it's um the skin's so like 
tired and worn out because of the cold weather and like the wind that blows on your face and also just from being tired this is what it looks like it's so tiny the size of my palm so it's really easy to carry with you wherever you go and there are different like face masks that you could put into the device um my favorites are probably the honey one or the green tea but i used green tea two days ago so i don't have that with me right now um, i'm gonna use the honey one today i am not a big fan of sheet masks and that's like a controversial thing to say i guess because i know so many people love sheet masks but for me i just don't like having a wet piece of cloth over my face and leave it on for like 20 30 minutes that's so like restricting for me and if it like drips down my face no so i love this because you can just get it over with very quickly and it doesn't feel restricting at all because it's basically just giving yourself a quick massage so you take the ring off add this little mask part into it and then you secure it very easy to put together the technology of cryotherapy and thermotherapy is in this device which is such an interesting concept for a skincare device so depending on your routine the device gets warm or cold to have different effects on your face and just like my Luna cleanser which I've talked about in my previous videos it also has that vibration feature to really feel like that um, treatment that you would get at a spa and when you go into the app it will show you all the different programs or routines that you can do for the day and inside the app you can actually make your own routine and really customize it to your liking um, to your skincare type and for your needs. So I think that is really special about um, Foreo's devices But I'm going to use the one that they already make for you for the honey mask So you can see like it has a red LED light right now and on the app It will tell you what the different lighting is supposed to mean and how it's going to help your skin and the app just guides you through the whole process so right now it's thermotherapy and it is very warm and it feels so relaxing it feels so good new homeowner things oh. these, these are nice. So we just went out for a little sh sh short target trip. <laughs> it's a short get We just got back from a short target trip. We went right on our lunch break and I'm gonna give you guys a haul. Even though half of this is not my stuff. But that's okay. So Target. <laughs> we love a city target because it just is so much different from a normal target. Normally city targets have like two floors and then there's a big escalator in the middle of it and there's a separate escalator for carts and for me that was such like a culture shock yeah that was a big culture shock to me I think the cutest thing we found at Target today was this cat mom mug and this was an impulsive purchase but it's so cute and I love red and pink together so that's cute and the font is also just a classy font and then she got a bamboo spoon and if you make fried rice you know how important this is so you don't scratch off the coating on your pan we have a box of Cheez-It white cheddar because this is my favorite snack ever probably and then I just got a clear duo lash glue Oh, and then we stopped by a boba place called T Percent. It was a small store, but they had really good menu. Like they had everything you would really want in a boba place. Can I have my straw? I got the Ice Passion Yuzu Green Tea. 
with lychee jelly. Mmm. Yeah, it's not too sweet. Try this. And then here we have classic black milk tea. Mmm. You don't like it? The pearl is so tak tak We have a little organizer for the kitchen. And then we have dryer sheets. I kind of cooked up a nice meal. Look at that. I wish you could have made the hash brown like really crispy with air fryer. Mm. Egg. Yum. I'm really proud of this. My skin is glowing today. We're about to go get dinner. It's a place like literally five minutes away walking distance. So I think it's about to be, I think it's going to be a brief dinner trip outside because it's a little cold today. I am truly conflicted. My choices are the shrimp shumai and then the wagyu ham roll. Now I feel like. sitting on my sister's desk and I was talking about how like this is where she works so I was talking about how it's so nice to have this cat bed thing right here because when you get stressed you can just turn around look at your cute cat and pet their little fur coat and it's so soft and they're so cute it's free therapy tell them I'm making a YouTube channel you are? Apparently my sister's making a YouTube channel. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen because whenever she says something, whenever she says something, she never does it. And I make sure to criticize it so she gets more annoyed and she actually does it. But it never happens anyway. So she's probably just saying it just to say it. But you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna make a mood board for 2022. It's... A must every year I start like a Pinterest board um, I started off as a mood board for how I want this year to go and then throughout the year I just fill it with like pictures or pins that resonate with me I've been doing this since 2018 but for 2021 I have literally 283 pins which is amazing because that tells me that I've been working hard on it but I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the first few pins that I pinned um, starting like December of last year. Oh, I remember a big thing for me this year was like I wanted to read a lot. I wanted like like study the things that I wanted to study, blah, blah, blah. So I have a lot of pictures that are like a girl reading a book, um, girl on her laptop, um... There are some like workout goals type of picture. Oh my gosh, it keeps doing that. I was romanticizing college life for sure. But like coffee, warm coffee in hand, planner. Again, coffee in hand. Um, gym pictures, books, books everywhere. I was making my mood board and I was like, I kind of don't know what I'm, what I should be looking for because I don't know what my new year's goal is going to be so i transitioned into my good notes and then i started like thinking about spe specific goals that i should have for the new year and these are the things that i came up with just now so i'll probably think about it more and start adding more one of the biggest thing for me is um setting routines i've been talking about this for a while but setting routines and really like finding comfort and like actual joy with doing these routines without 
having to force myself to do these routines like i want to be doing my morning routine feeling good and being like oh my gosh yes i love this um so that's something that i'm wanting to work for um and i wrote down some like details that could go under that and for like morning routine that'll be waking up at the same time um, incorporating like morning stretches or light workouts or even like walks outside um, um, find healthier breakfast choices that i could eat in the dorm and also have regular morning journal plans and then for night um, go to bed at the same time no social media after a certain time read fictional books um, instead of non-fiction because non-fictions tend to be like oh you have to go do this go do that but then at night you just really want to relax so fictional books and then like relaxing skincare routine um shower routine something to like really give me that relaxing time before bed so i can get good so i can get better sleep i definitely want to update more and think about this more and i'll update you guys on it but that is it for today i think everyone is feeling very sleepy today nemo are you enjoying the view or are you sleeping like that i think he's sleeping like this how cute i will see you in my next vlog and i just realized that i've been looking at the screen the whole time instead of looking into the camera but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Nemo, say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Nemo, you weren't sleeping. <laughs>